tucked away at the back of a busy shopping plaza, a group of extraordinary people is changing the way autism is perceived and its limitations, one chocolate truffle at a time. I make the truffles and I train other students how to, how to make truffles and other um, treats. When 31-year-old Christian Panter was diagnosed with Asperger's, he worried about employment opportunities. Then he met Valerie. People who are neurodiverse are very talented and can really be a wonderful part of society. Valerie Herskowitz says her son Blake, who is on the autism spectrum and nonverbal, spoke to the world in different ways, often when they baked. That's how Chocolate go. Spectrum was born. It's very rewarding, uh, you know, helping, helping people. In 2014, Panter became Valerie's first employee. Since then, she's trained or employed more than 60 people with developmental disabilities. Churning the nougat while changing the narrative. It's not just a matter of teaching my students how to communicate. It's also teaching the society on how to uh, work with us. Fitting that the store's door features this symbol for autism awareness, because Panther says it's where he found his missing puzzle piece. Why should people come here? Uh, because they would be supporting a good cause and uh, it tastes good. The group's sister program, the National Autism Registry, raises money for their Chocolatier training program. We'll put the information up for that program as well as to this shop on our website at WPBF.com. In Jupiter, Tara Jake, YWPBF 25 News.